first media day experience taking it all in what's that been like it's been fun i like to embrace my personality show y'all who i am you know put a smile on a couple, couple of y'all's faces I know I didn't put a smile on your face, but maybe next time. <laughs> Not everybody's Tristan. <laughs> um, conversations with Kenny. What have they been like? Uh, how do you feel like his expertise is going to complement your skill set and the whole team, really? Um, it's been a love-hate relationship. That's what I said over there. It's a love-hate relationship. Um, you know, he, he's been pouring into me a lot and trying to show me a lot. Um, obviously, trying to drag me along and help me help this team win. He told me, like, you can help this team win and you're going to help this team win. Uh, I remember first first big, like, I would say, um, compliment he gave me was he told me, sorry, I'm blanking right now. He told me, um, I don't know what it is about you, but you're going to find your way on that court. I was I was trying to process it and think about, like, what are you trying to tell me? Like, am I going to get on the court or not? Like, don't, don't tease me like that, but... um. That's what type of relationship we have. He's every day he's coming in me telling me to work on something new. And I've just been taking it in and trying to be as coachable as possible. How do you how do you take that kind of like you said, that 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 love hate relationship? How do you take that kind of not criticism, but just trying to make you better and, and, and obviously he sounds like he's trying to be kinda of hard on you to make you better. I mean his job is to win games here. And my job is to help win games. So yeah. I'm I'm a coachable coachable player, you know. I don't I don't take criticism personal. He's just here to try to help me be the best player possible. I remember he says it all the time, like I want y'all to make the most money possible. So that's his goal: to help us help us win. We win. Everybody makes a lot of money. So that's that's what I look at it as, and I love him for it. I appreciate it. Jalen, what do you think is going to be the biggest adjustment thing in the NBA for you? Biggest adjustment is making quicker decisions. That's the biggest thing I've been working on these last couple of weeks: quicker decisions more firm decisions and i feel like that 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 would make me take a bigger step in this nba game for sure okay, thank you Mitch, you talked a little bit about for summer league about being able to play one two three where do you see yourself more so in kenny atkinson's offense and how has he talked to you about that progression throughout the summer i would say we play position as basketball you're gonna see like how our offense is like somebody bring the ball up and let's get into action like 10 downs all kinds of his offense is really good. I ran a little bit of it at Cal, so I kind of have a feel for what it was. But, it's, I mean, like I said, I'm positionless, um, first time wing. That's what I would say to call myself, somebody that can just plug in and just not be successful. Um, so I, I, I couldn't answer that question. I don't know positions. What, how, uh, how much do you think playing essentially point guard at Cal – has helped prepare you to be in this position. Oh my God! I thank Mark Madison every day for making that decision. Thank him every day. <laughs> uh, it opened up my eyes to understand. Now I not only know my position, but I know everybody's position on the court. So, and then for instance, if I'm playing point guard and now he wants me to play three, now I know that spot. You know, stuff like that. So, I'm glad I play point guard, and it just opens up my game. I can do a little bit more now. You can plug me in at point guard and take Donovan off the bar, somebody like that, you know? Yeah. And then now we can get him open shots off the pin down or something. I'm thankful for that, for sure. What's pre-training camp then? Before you were drafted, did you have any conversation with Cleveland? Or did you have any expectations that they picked you? I did. So this was my last workout. Cleveland was my last workout. I had messed up my back. I was walking, walking like an old man. No, no offense to anybody. I was walking like an old man. And I got through that workout and I, that was the best workout I had. One of the best workouts I had. And after that, I, just, I told him, he asked me, why would you play? Why would you, why would you play in this workout if we can just get you on another workout? I said, I want to, I want to show you how tough I am and how I can handle adversity. And after that, I told my agent, I was like, we might end up in Cleveland. I'll tell you right now, we might end up in Cleveland. I don't know how the marbles going to fall, but we might end up in. Luckily it happened. Well, thank you. <laughs> What's uh what was pre training camp like? Obviously Donovan led led the crew and, and got guys in the gym early. It was fun. I mean, I got to learn my teammates. Um I got to learn they're also human beings. You know, Donovan is a special talent, right? But he's also a human being. I got to build a relationship with him and everybody on the team. Um and going into camp I'm more comfortable with everybody and they're more comfortable with me. And I got to learn a lot, you know, little little aspects on the court that's gonna help me grow my game. So I'm glad we got to do that, for sure. When you talk about on a personal level, who did you connect with? You just kind of mentioned Donovan. Like, what's, what kind of stuff are you talking about off the court? Uh, yeah, can't, can't go there? <laughs> Undisclosed. Can't, can't go there? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, sorry. No, you're good. No, but it's been, it's been fun, you know, learning from him. He's not 
he says he's old, but he's not that. He's not that old. So I get to learn a lot from him for sure. So speaking of teammates, since you're such a young player, is anybody so tricky with your um like a better deal like that? I wouldn't say somebody in particular. I would say a couple guys. Just, you know what I'm saying? George, Karis, and Don. I would say those three are the biggest ones that have been teaching me a lot. But everybody in this team has poured into me and kind of shown me the world. So I'm thankful for it. You talked a little bit about being the new guy on campus, right? Being uh, a different player. Obviously, at least uh, a different, same, similar roster than last year. But... How do you feel like you mesh in with all the different pieces that have already been here for at least one year being in a new space? I just feel like I'm a winner. That's what I feel like. And if you're a winner, you can plug in anywhere. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to adjust, right? So if coach tells me he wants me to play a certain position that I'm not used to, I'm going to find a way to play that position, right? If my role is being on the court, being the best teammate on the bench, that's what I'm willing to do. And me understanding that has helped me throughout this journey. So I'm excited, obviously. Like I said, it's the same, almost the same roster from last year, just adding me and a couple other pieces. But whatever my role is, I'm looking forward to it and, and being able to grow out here in Cleveland. Is everybody pretty forward looking? I know a lot of people were talking about last year. You just said it, they pretty much are running it back. Um, is everybody just kind of focused on the now and, and going forward? To be honest, you, nobody has really talked about last year. Like, everybody's been talking about what we're going to do this year. And the goal is the same, win a championship. Yeah. I mean, it's the goal in everybody's locker room right now. But we truly believe that we can win it. And I'm just going to be here along for the ride. <laughs> What's it like for you coming into a group that has so much continuity? Does that kind of help you since you are so young in your career? A thousand percent. Uh, I just fit right in. Like, you know, no growing pains. I just... Everybody was cool, and I was like, all right, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? I'm in here now, so let's do it. So, it's, no, yeah, it was, I'm glad that this is a team that's been together, and I just jumped straight in. So, yeah. Did you have a welcome to the team moment that you can share? No, not a welcome to the team. I would say George. George has a couple. Oh, of course. George has a couple. Oh, of course. Just, just letting you know that you're a rookie. That was the biggest thing, but nothing, nothing crazy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what do you consider your biggest strengths offensively? Being able to make my teammates around me better. Um, so better. And just being able to space the floor. I think that's the biggest thing I've been working on these last couple of weeks, being able to space the floor and really knock that corner three down. Mm -hmm. um, DC, DeMar Carroll, our uh, coach, he's been working on me every day with him, every single day. So you perfect these corners, you're going to get paid a lot of money. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Come on, we're in this corner. And has Coach Atkinson talked to you about how many threes he wants you to be taking per game? or We have not had advanced. that conversation, you know. Um, wherever, he, wherever he finds me at, that's where I'm going to be at. He told me, just such a versatile player, you can feel so many so many holes in our, in our roster that – Wherever he puts me out, I'm going to be successful. So I trust him. Obviously, you had the opportunity at Summer League. Was there something that you took away from Summer League that you wanted to work on the most coming into your first season? One thing I took away from Summer League is I knew that I was one of the best rookies in this class. I wanted everybody to know that. That's why I went out there and I started to get better and better. Once I got more confident, once I get, got that confidence, I knew I wanted to show everybody. Remember, we played against the Lakers and I wanted to show. And the, the Lakers had 17. I want to show that they picked one better than me. And I think I did that. I don't know if y'all agree with me, but I know I did that. So, um, from some of the, I just wanted to just show why they picked me at 20 and why I deserve to be here. I know you had more dives on the floor in that game. <laughs> you say what? <laughs> I know you had more dives on the floor in that game. <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> that was a fun game. Let's say it that. was. Still okay. <laughs> so keep in contact with some of the, your uh, fellow draft. You fellow mates in your draft class? I do. Uh, I, we was just at rookie transition last week. Mm -hmm. Longest three days of my life, but I learned a lot from it and be able to build relationships with the other rookies that I didn't get to meet. So, yeah, I, I keep in contact with a lot of them for sure. What's yeah. an individual goal that you have for yourself this season? For myself? Yeah. Track the rotation and help have valuable minutes that can help win the basketball game. Still on offensive team? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, no. <laughs> Coach would love that. Hey, go ahead and tell him I said that too. <laughs> Give me a, uh, three artists you would have if you had to curate a game day playlist. Speech Keys, J. Cole, Scissor. 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 You're right. Come on, Scissor. 
If you don't know who SZA is, you know who it is now. <laughs> <laughs>